When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. I always like to start with something interesting. And let me ask you a question. If you were expecting a refund from a company, say $68, and then suddenly in your bank account was deposited $7.7 million, what would you do? Okay. Would you call them up and say, oh my gosh, you guys and gals made such a huge mistake. Or would you buy your sister a $1.3 million house? Hmm. Okay, that's what one woman did when Crypto.com sent her a $7.7 million refund that was supposed to be $68. It happened in Australia, and now they're in the court system trying to get the money back. They have to sell the house. You know, I started thinking about this. Crypto.com, they probably thought that they paid her in, like, Dogecoin or something like that. And let me tell you, cryptocurrency is crashing so bad that I heard that ransomware gangs, that's right, they're now demanding payments instead of Bitcoin in rubles. That's right. And on that happy note, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to this. It's America's largest show about all things digital. We talk about all the gadgets and gizmos, your online privacy and security, how to make money, how to save money. What's going on with the internet? I mean, the list just goes on and on. Because after all, it is called The Kim Commando Show because I'm America's digital pro, Kim Commando, here with you once again. And you can find us on over 425 top stations throughout the United States. And of course, we're streaming in your favorite radio app. To find me, just search for my last name, Commando. And you can find us streaming as a podcast, as a webcast, 24-7 over at getkim.com. Love that. You get three months of archives, and it's also commercial-free. 30 days. That's right, over at getchem.com. And, of course, you can also hear us on the American Forces Network radio. I love this, serving more than 375,000 American servicemen and women in 175 countries and 200 ships at sea. Get the Kim Commando Show. And I'm sure you have at least a few questions about something digital I can lend a hand to. And our T-Mobile unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 Once again, is the way to join us. All right. I scour the news wires and all these different sites, and I talk to industry insiders every single day to bring you up to date with this, just the five things that you need to know about tech. And in this part of the show, I like to focus on tech news and what is happening in our world. And for our first news item, let's go back only five years ago when Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's guy, was off touring all 50 states and kissing babies and eating apple pie, laying the framework down to be, have a future political career. Then came this long list of scandals and the boy billionaire decided, hmm, I don't think I'm going to be president of the United States. So how about if I be king of the metaverse and... Let's talk about how that's going. Well, the reviews from the video gaming press are devastating. Zuckerberg's metaverse avatar it has a problem. It has no legs. <laughs> neither does anyone else in the metaverse. And as it appears, neither does the metaverse itself. It's DOA. Last week on the Joe Rogan show, Zuck attempted to rebrand himself. He wanted to become a, this alpha male. And he talked about he is a three-sport varsity athlete. And his hobby is, quoting now, wrestling with friends. That's what he does. Uh, the online joke is that Zuck's metaverse legacy is not going to be it. It may be something someday. The technology isn't here quite yet. It's a long way off, and I just don't think it's going to be coming with Zuckerberg in charge. And I'll tell you, I have talked about the metaverse, and then I've gotten some email just to let people know that, you know, this is not the same thing as augmented reality, virtual reality. I mean, it's totally different things. The metaverse is where you have this avatar-like character, and this is where you're going to live, work, and play instead of being outside in the real world. Uh, number two in our list, yes, the screen is killing you. It's your worst fear come true. As you gaze into your computer screen, that blue light that it admits is literally making you age faster. That's right. The research is coming from Oregon State University. And here's what they found. Long hours of exposure of the blue light emitted from everyday devices. I'm talking about your TVs, your laptops, tablets, your smart speaker screens, um, your desktop, your phone. 
It has a detrimental effect on a wide range of cells in our bodies, from skin cells to sensory neurons to levels of specific metabolites. The chemicals essential for cells to function correctly are being altered by this blue light. Now, you may be thinking that you see all the colors of the spectrum on your screen, and you do, but when you see anything that's white or light color, here's the problem. It's primarily high energy blue light. And there is one spot of good news here. Looking at screens from e-readers and like, it doesn't seem to be harmful. But, you know, think about this. Brain cells die, skin cells die, hair cells die, but fat cells, wow, they are different. They must have accepted Jesus because they have just eternal life, those fat cells, I'll tell you. Uh, number three on our list, Tesla is having a hiring spree for motor and accentuator designers and engineers, but not for SpaceX, not for Starlink, not for Neuralink, and not for that boring company. That's the company that's building tunnels, like, for example, under Las Vegas to eliminate all the traffic. And not also to help take care of all the kids that he's father. I don't know if you know this, but it seems like Elon Musk and Nick Cannon, they are in a race for that title. I think Nick Cannon is winning. Now he has 10 kids and Elon Musk has eight. But anyway, Tesla's hiring for its humanoid Optimus robot program because we've been looking at robots for how many years, right? George Jetson had Rosie. Robin Williams played the robot butler Andrew in Bicentennial Man. They've been the stuff of movies for decades now. But where are they? So Elon Musk promises to unveil Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot on Friday, September 30th, which is known as AI Day. Just a few weeks from today, Musk is banking on two versions, one to replace humans in boring or dangerous jobs, he says, and the other to work in private homes, cooking, mowing lawns, vacuuming, maybe even caring for the elderly. Now, both versions are five foot eight and they weigh about 150 pounds. They can pick up heavy objects. The cost, around $10,000. Let's just hope they work better than Tesla's autopilot. Oh, that thing doesn't work. Uh, number four on our list of five things, the future is here. And we don't care how many bars we have in more places. Okay, we've all heard stories of people hiking, getting lost, and other emergencies tragically dying because they had no phone signal to call for help. Now, very soon, the smartphone we carry around will use satellite technology that promises a cell phone technology that promises a cell phone signal anywhere. Now, here's the thing: we are in the middle of this huge communication disruption right now. Think about it. We're going to go from cell phones that only work in certain places to cell phones with a satellite connection that really works anywhere we have a view of the night sky or any sky, as a matter of fact. Now, there are about 500,000 square miles in the United States that have no cell phone signals from any carrier. So as long as you have a view of the sky, you can be able to call or text. Now, satellite phone service, it's not meant to replace your carrier. It's meant to be side by side your current plan. Now, T-Mobile was the first company to announce a deal with SpaceX. And also look for a big push in satellite technology on September 7th when Apple announces its new line of iPhones. And finally, there is this at number five. Air dropping in the air is really a dumb idea. Now, Apple has this really wonderful feature called AirDrop. It allows you to wirelessly send documents, photos, videos, websites, locations, anything that you have to a nearby Mac, iPhone, iPad, or even an iPod Touch. Now, if you want to airdrop a photo, for example, you just open the photo on your phone, and then there's a list of nearby devices who are able to accept that photo. It pops up, and it's just sent to them. There's no email. It's easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Now, AirDrop settings have two options. You can accept AirDrop photos from everyone or just people in your contact list. And, of course, we've been stressing for so many years that you set your AirDrop settings to just folks on your contact list. Now, the reason why I bring all this up is apparently there was a prankster on a Southwest Airlines flight this past week who decided to airdrop nudes to other people on the plane when they were leaving the gate and getting on the tarmac to fly off. Now, the captain of the Southwest Airlines flight wasn't too happy about it, and here's what he said to the passengers on the flight. Take a listen. So this continues while we're on the ground. I'm gonna have to pull back to the gate. Everybody's gonna have to get off. We're gonna have to get security involved. Oh, and it's God. vacation that's going to be ruined. So you folks, whatever that airdrop thing is, put in the naked picture. Let's get yourself to Cabo. <laughs> okay. I mean, think about that. That's a line that this captain thought he would never say on any flight at any time, that airdropping thing. Uh, they never found the person, but saying, you know, I didn't know I was airdropping new pictures to other people on the plane. That excuse, it's just not going to fly. 
All right, coming up, we have the trick to find spyware running on your PC or Mac that you don't want to miss. Oh, and this is really wonderful. I'm going to tell you how you can store 100,000 songs in the cloud for free. So let's say you have your vinyl collection, maybe even cassettes or whatever you have, and you want to put that music in the cloud. I have a place where you can put 100,000 songs absolutely free, no charge. And then in our digital privacy tip, uh, we're going to be talking about mistakes that you're making with your home security system that actually makes you less safe. And I have to tell you, I was guilty of one of these on the list, and I'll tell you which one that is. Uh, we have also the three steps that you need to know about before you trade in or you sell on a phone, because after all, as I mentioned briefly, is that we do have that big announcement coming up on September 7th. And so I want to make sure that if you're going to be getting rid of an old phone and buying a new phone, that you do it the safe way. And of course, we have all of your fantastic phone calls from coast to coast here on the Kim Commando Show. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users, and it has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open, and I'm sure you have at least a few questions, and I want to hear from you at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. And if you're just too shy to speak in front of, I don't know, a couple of million people, I totally get that. Even I get nervous from time to time. Just head over to the website, that's commando.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's a link that says email Kim. Once again, that's K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com, of course. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's a link that says email Kim. All right, we have some tricks for finding spyware running on your PC or Mac just moments away. But before we get to that, Ursula in Ontario, Canada. Let's start with you. Hi there, Ursula. <laughs> Hello, this is so exciting. <laughs> Oh, it's exciting for me, too. It is. I love what I do. How can I help you out? (laughs) Well, um, camping, uh, I have my phone, and I cannot get anything anywhere around the lake. Now, there are mountains there, but um, if I walk out on certain docks, certain ones really far towards the water... Then every once in a while I can get a little bit of internet, and then that's about it. So I was wondering, I thought, is there anything that I can do to boost that so that I can um, get internet, basically just for communicating with friends or whatever that didn't come with us? And that was my question. Sure. Um, you know, but when you are camping, and isn't it nice to have like that whole digital detox for a while, right? So it's like, I'm not there. It's wonderful to <laughs> you know, have like, that. That's true. <laughs> it is. I yeah, just, I really enjoy true. that. It's, but you, you miss some things. Though. It's like, you know, you still want to pick up your phone to do things. And it's almost, you have to break that habit. But now there are a couple of things you can do. Um, let's say if you go out on the dock and on your campsite, you may be able to buy a booster, if you will. And it's a a cell phone signal booster, um, works with all the carriers and they're about $200. But if the signal isn't strong enough because of the mountains, that's where we come into a real issue. Okay. Um, and the cell booster, if you do buy it, just make sure that it comes with a 30 day back, you know, money back guarantee just in case it doesn't work. Now, there is an alternative, there is an alternative, okay, that I don't know if it's available in Ontario, because I'm only really familiar that with its coverage in the United States, but it may be, is that Elon Musk, Ursula, has this company called Starlink. And I don't know, have you ever heard of Starlink? Have you ever heard of Starlink? Do you know what it is? Okay. So, so he's putting up all these satellites, in orbit so that this way he's going to blanket the entire globe with internet access. As a matter of fact, it was so cool the other night. 
it was about 1040 at night. And I walked outside and I watched the, watched the booster go out from Vandenberg Air Force Base. And it flew right over our house, which I thought was just simply amazing that that, that was able to happen. And then I guess Leon Musk was launching, I don't know, like 400 odd rockets into the sky. So with Starlink, as a matter of fact, I just installed it as a backup ISP for my house. With Starlink, it's so easy. You just buy it shows up, literally takes five minutes to put it all together, and pretty decent coverage. We're talking about, you say, 150 megabits down and maybe, you know, five going back up, which is really good when you think about that at satellite. And from my particular house, the app shows I need to have a better view of the northern sky, so we're just positioning the antenna. But the reason why I bring all that up is that it's $500 for the antenna from Starlink. And then it's roughly $110 a month okay, for the service. Now, if you are a Starlink customer, they offer you the ability to take that Starlink package with you. And you have to buy another antenna, I think. And, but the whole thing will cost you just $25 extra a month so that you'd have Starlink satellite internet access to your home. And then you could carry the Starlink router, which is you know about the size of a big book. You just carry it with you. And then you have, for an extra $25 a month, you can have internet access at that speed, maybe even a little bit more or less, depending upon the congestion. Is th And then you can take that with you, like I said, for like $25 a month. So if you are camping, if you're on a boat or whatever it may be, and then even in an RV, and then you want to take that with you, that you can do that, which I think is a very, very innovative marketing angle when you think about it, because... You know, before now, we really didn't have that option. We'd buy a booster for 200 bucks and pray and hope it, it works. And now we can carry this Starlink antenna. Now, I will tell you that what I have read about Starlink and in doing all the research for to have it as a backup ISP for, for us, because as we're doing the show, we always need to have a backup ISP, is that in major cities, there could be some congestion. So it really works well if you're not, say, downtown Miami, Atlanta, Chicago, those type of places. But it is an innovative idea. So uh, check out the booster. I'll post a link over at commando.com where we also have some other tech that you might want to carry with you camping, up, including some extra power banks, uh, a spot GPS. If you're going to be hiking alone, that's always really, really important for you to have. And I'll post that over inside the commando community. In case you're wondering where that is, you head to commando.com slash community. And then there's the Q&A forum, and that's where I post some links from the show. So, Ursula, thank you so much for your call. Hey, listen, as promised, spyware is malicious software that works quietly in the background, tracking everything that you do, your account numbers, your passwords, your searches, everything. And they do leave digital clues. So if you're on a PC, I want you to open Task Manager. On a Mac, you open Activity Monitor. And what you do is you go through the list of processes. And I mentioned this briefly on a show recently, and then I've been getting a lot of email. That's why I wanted to bring it up again. And so what you do is you look at this entire list. And if there's something on that list that you're just not familiar with, just Google search that particular name of the file. And then typically then you can find out more about it. And if in fact spyware, we've got tons of tips over on the website to help you eradicate it and remove it forever. Hey, listen, stay right where you are. We have our digital life hacks tip coming up and more of your phone calls you don't want to miss. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Thank you. 
All right. Before we go back to all of your phone calls, and also we have our digital life hack and our privacy tip coming up, is let's say you have a bunch of vinyl records, CDs, or even cassettes just laying around. Well, it's time to put them in the cloud, folks. It is. So this way you can listen to your tunes in your car at home while exercising or even when you're camping or on vacation. Now, here's the secret way to store 100,000 songs for free and always have access to each and every one of them. I'm talking about YouTube music. Now, if you don't already have a YouTube account, just make one. Tap your profile picture from the menu. You just click on Upload Music. And then here you select all the tracks on your hard drive that you want to be stored on YouTube servers for free. Now, there is an important gotcha you need to know. No, it doesn't cost, but... This uploading music only works when you're using YouTube music on a desktop or laptop computer. You cannot upload music from your phone or your tablet. Now, after your music is all uploaded, you can make playlists, you can get fancy with your music, listen to music on the go, just download the YouTube music app on your device, and then you just sign into your account, and then it just works. And speaking of YouTube, we're making some big changes with our own YouTube channel. So if you don't already subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do that right now while you're thinking about it because I don't want you to miss out. That's over at commando at youtube.com slash Kim Commando. That's youtube.com slash Kim Commando. All right, back to the phones we go with Mary in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Hi there, Mary. Hello. I want to thank you for taking my call and my, my question. Pleasure. My pleasure. What's going on? So uh, we are building a house in Florida and we also have a home in Wisconsin. And we've done this uh, maybe about 15 years ago, and that was back when we had check registers, and I was able to, you know, go through my check register and keep track of where all the money went. Mm -hmm. So, so far into this project, and they haven't even really started building the house, we've had money go out through a couple of different wire transfers. We've had a couple of checks, and today I put a big deposit on a credit card. And I guess my question would be, like, I'm looking for some app that I would have with me at all times because we're back and forth. and you know, I don't always have my laptop with me to create like a spreadsheet, but some way that I'm able to enter these outgoing expenses and maybe even categorize them and and keep track of them in one place. So I can, if we pay somebody, I can just add it to an app and have it tell me where sure. I'm at. And even going forward, like when we start buying furniture, maybe having a category for that. So kind of looked at project management apps and they all seem like they're much more complex and set for like people in business and so on and so forth. So I was wondering if there was something more yeah. simplified for this. Well, I'll tell you, Mary, um, I'm building a house too. <laughs> and whatever mm -hmm. cost they, whatever cost they told you, it's going to be double. <laughs> I'm just telling you right well, now. We're already 23,000 <laughs> over our budget. So yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh. Cause you know, they complain about the supply issues and then there's the mm -hmm. cost of lumber and steel and, you know, <sighs> It's just, I'm just so tired of hearing all the excuses. And I've right. been working on this for over four and a half years. And I'll tell you, I will never build another house in my entire life. <laughs> it is just no, I can't so... enjoy it, but we'll see how it oh, goes. Oh, do you? You know what? I, mm -hmm. I did enjoy it until it became too stressful. I enjoyed it yeah. when everything was going swimmingly along. and But the contractor has missed the last six dates that he has given us. Huh. Um. And just last week, um, my husband, Barry, they, they were talking in the dining room and I was in the kitchen. So I was like earshot. Right. And so Barry mm -hmm. said to the contractor, so, you know, do you think you're, you're going to make this this Thanksgiving deadline? Do you think you're going to make it? And the contractor said, well, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping. And then I said in the kitchen, I just blurted it out. I said, you know, I'll believe mm -hmm. it when I see it. And the contractor actually came right. in the kitchen he came in the kitchen, Mary, and he looked at me and he said, with his big eyes, he looked at me and said, Kim, I understand your frustration because I've missed every single deadline that I've given you. I'm like, okay. Right. So it doesn't give me a lot of confidence that you're going to make the Thanksgiving Day one either. Uh, well, the last time just, we built a house in Florida 15 years ago, I actually was a squatter in it for a couple of days when, you know, before we had our certificate of occupancy. So if it comes down to that. You just figure out a way to make it work. Well, that's what we, you know, what we ended up doing is that <laughs> we have a we have a squatter who's sitting there saying, OK, let's make sure we do it. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let me just tell you how I'm doing it. And okay. then. And I'm also, are you use iPhones? Is that it? Are you Apple? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, good. Because it's the same, same way that I'm doing. Okay. 
I've tried, and maybe my project was too complex, and I'm happy to share some apps that I've tried with you. I tried a few mm -hmm. apps, and it just wasn't working for me. Uh, so what I ended up doing is an Apple Sheets, because everybody gets Sheets for free for Apple, and I have it done by, I've done it like my way that works for me. And then I can What's link an Apple this, Sheet? Uh, it's like Excel, but it's out for free from Apple. Same thing. Oh, okay. Okay. And so, and so, but what you can do is you can link the cell to an invoice. And so if you double click on the cell, then that invoice pops up. So you can see what, what comprised of everything along the way. Okay. Um, I also have the contractor, <clears throat> uh, when he gives me, every week he gives me a spreadsheet that tells me how much over budget he is. Because they're never under mm -hmm. budget. Let's just face that. They're going to be over budget. No. Uh, right. And so so then I can look at that quickly and see the red cells and say, okay, why are we over budget? And if we are over budget here, we have to get under budget someplace else. I'm not really sure where that is. Right. Um, right. The thing that, that I have found most useful is to make them do a Gantt chart. Do, have you gotten anything like that from the contractor? No. What is that okay. called? It's called a Gantt chart. G-A-N-T-T -T chart. Okay. A, Gantt, a Gantt chart will show you how the, the construction process for the house. And then there will be critical okay. factors, like a critical, maybe we complete the foundation before we can do put any framing in. And so the framers can't start. I'm giving you a very basic example, obviously. The framers can't start if there's no foundation. So if the, if the foundation moves out, then the framing will move out. So you can see how the right. project these milestones aren't being met. Uh, and hopefully mm -hmm. your contractor is better than mine. But you can see how you yeah. can see how this affects. And of course, there are always things that are beyond control. Acts of God, right? right? Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe there is trouble with getting windows. In my case, it was steel. Another problem that we had right. was that uh, when we were digging down for the garages is that we hit, I don't know, 100-year-old granite, which required, mm. you know, somebody tapping down and, and so every every time i go over there mary and i'd hear like tap 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 right mm -hmm. and every time i did my head went 25 cents 25 cents 25 cents 25 cents 25 right cents, you know right as far as to get this in um right. so so that's what i did is to put this i know you said you know you don't want to do a spreadsheet but you can open that up on your phone and then you can have it linked to different things so you have all that so, information okay. Is Apple Sheet, is that, is that like an app then? Um, yeah, yeah, I, it's Apple, I, yeah, it's it? Apple Sheets. It's just called Sheets. Okay. It's Apple Sheets. But what I'm going to do is, okay. let me also do this for you, is that I'm going to give you some links to some apps that I tried. Um, and I'll put those inside the Commando community. And so if you go to commando.com slash community in the Q&A forum, that's where you'll find. I'm gonna, I, I tried four, and I ended up saying, you know what, forget this. I'm just going to do it my way. That seems to make sense for me. But maybe the apps are something that you will find particularly helpful. But be sure to get that Gantt chart and make sure that that contractor knows that he has to stick to that Gantt chart. Um, I really should have been harder in making sure that these milestones were met. And that, that's that's a problem that, that I'm accepting that I I didn't do right. I should have done, I should have been a little bit harder when all that stuff was coming down. But anyway, Mary, I'm going to put all those links over at commando.com slash uh, community in the Q&A. And hey, don't forget about security cameras. You can put those up. If you have a neighbor that you can borrow your internet connection from, that's what I did so that this way I have Wi-Fi cameras all over, but I'm using the neighbor's internet and uh, just as a favor. So that may be something that you might want to look at too. I'll post a link to those cameras that I used as well. All right, you're probably making some mistakes with your home security system that will make you less safe. Like for example, I noticed that I started ignoring all the notifications because the security cameras would go off outside every time a tree moved. And so what you want to do is you want to get in there and start putting act actually like the areas that it should cover and it shouldn't cover and stop annoying those notifications. You also want to adjust the activity zones, and this is where the camera focuses on. You could have different zones for each camera. The front of the house, so you really need to record and be notified every time a car drives by. Probably not, but if somebody's on the sidewalk walking towards the house, absolutely. And also the motion sensitivity. You can 
tweak how much or how little your camera records. It will save storage for space, but also will limit the number of notifications that you're getting. Um, over on commando.com, we have all the steps on how to do each of these. Uh, for Simply Safe, which is, of course, a sponsor of the show and great security system, Ring and also Arlo Cams. Uh, Nest, unfortunately, doesn't have some of these settings. And so if you want more information about this, just head over to the website. That's commando.com, K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com. And when you're there, just hit the link that says Kim Show. Hey, we have still to come. We have more of your phone calls as well as a tip on the three steps that you need to do before you trade in or before you sell an old phone here on the Kim Commando Show. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, let's talk about your home. I mean, we bought a house in Los Angeles for Ian to live in while he's going to college because the rents are just crazy there and the mortgage rates were so low. Um, it's a beautiful home, but the front yard, it really needed an overhaul. It had absolutely no curb appeal. So we saw what the neighbors did down the street and we decided, hey, you know what? We're going to modify what they did and try to make it even better. And then came the tricky part choosing a contractor. You end up with the wrong person. Even the smallest job is a total nightmare. And that's why I'm sharing with you three questions that you need to ask before you hire somebody for a home renovation, big or small. First of all, how long have you been in business? And then also look at their contractor rating over on the county website. You also want to see some examples and maybe get some references. And don't stop at just browsing a photo gallery online and looking at images on their phone. You should be able to chat with a past client or two. And if the contractor that you're speaking with is hesitant to show you any past work or connect you with references, that's just a big red flag. And also number three, what's the best way to reach you? I know that sounds crazy, but is it going to be email, text, or phone, or email, whatever it may be? Just make sure that you have this uh, straight when you start the project. Now, one question that you always want to make sure is that, is the person licensed, bonded, and insured? I mean, that's crucial for protecting yourself. But how do you find that person? How do you find a person that you trust? Well, I found on Angie.com, the contractor do the front yard, the backyard. I found a housekeeper, a plumber. I use Angie to find the best qualified person for any home improvement project or repair. Angie will connect you with real professionals. You have to scour the web and start Google searching for reputable sources with Angie. That's what I love about it. You can search real customer reviews, request quotes, and book your home improvement project all in one place. You just can't beat Angie. It's the best. So whether it's lawn care, fixing the AC, putting in a pool, tackling that dream project, that remodel, Angie is the trusted home improvement source that can help. Home projects have never been so simple. So don't wait to get your projects done, especially if you're thinking about having some folks over for Thanksgiving. Now's the time you want to get this going. So do what I did. Download the free Angie app for your iOS or Android device or go to the website, Angie.com. You're going to love Angie as much as I do. You're going to use them time and time again. Once again, that's Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I.com. All right, let's see. Lynn in Miami, Florida. Hi there, Lynn. Hi, congratulations on your home. I hope you get to move in one day. You know? <laughs> Me too. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> I, that. I got to tell you, I got to tell you just a real quick story. I bought my dream home in New Jersey and there was an oil painting over the bed. My sister said, you know, we should really put that somewhere else. I took it off and I was facing a squirrel. There was an actual <sighs> hole. There was, no. I don't know whether there was supposed to be a window. I'm looking at a squirrel. And my sister said, put the painting back up, you know. 
<laughs> so that's what the, that's what goes on when you buy a house. Believe me. Uh, so I'm did you so wait? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa! I want to hold on, hold on, just a sec. Now, did you hear like scratching at night and wondering what it was? No, but I had a desire to eat walnuts. No, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. I just had to get a guy in, and I have used Angie, by the way, and I do love them. And they're very oh, reputable, awesome. and they're reasonable, yeah. too, you know. But Absolutely. we all have these war stories about our homes, believe me. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm not a, a techie by any means. Um, my smart hard drive, drive disk started to fail. I couldn't update, so I bought a new HP computer. Then I was talking to somebody in a store, and she said, you know, they're having problems with the processor. It's an AMD Ryzen. I don't know if I'm mm -hmm. saying it right. That's right. That's fine. But it blips during the video playback. And then they said the Windows 11 issues. You know, I'm a senior citizen. I feel like I'm talking about myself. And then she said to me, we have a lot of people bringing in these computers now. So do I do I buy another HP? Do I look for another brand? Uh, my nephew refuses to talk to me unless I buy Mac. <laughs> Well, okay, you, let's let's you know, let's talk about this one. Uh, there was a problem uh, with what's called the TPM on the chip, and without getting technical, right. normally there's a separate chip on the board. There were some problems. They tried to fake it. I would demand a full refund for the machine. And uh, okay. your nephew is probably smart. Um, once you go Mac, well, you never IT. go back. He is smart. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'll tell you, I am all Mac all the time. All Mac. Because right. okay. I just don't, I just don't want to have to deal with Windows, blue screens, incompatibility drivers. Oh, it's been a memory nightmare. issues. Yeah. It just, you know, it just goes on and on, and it's like, why? Life is too short. Well, yeah, to build your own house and to deal with Windows, especially at the same time. <laughs> so, so let's let's do this, Lynn. Let's uh, let's figure out how we can get you uh, the right MacBook if you want a laptop or the right MacBook, and see if you can get your money back on that. And we have a MacBook buying guide. We'll go ahead and send that to you, Lynn. If somebody wants to make a note, and everybody else will put it inside the Commando community. Okay, you may be thinking about getting a brand new phone. Well, here's the thing. Think of everything that you have saved on your phone, your email, your text, your photos, videos, chats, saved passwords, along with all the apps, banking information, credit cards, even some cash. So before you get a new phone, what I want you to do is do the right steps to get rid of the old one. Back up everything from the old, fun to, old one to an online account. Sign out of every app on your phone. This way, your old phone is no longer associated with your accounts. And finally, do a factory reset on your old phone. This puts the phone back to the state where it was when you first purchased it. Now, if you need those steps, just make sure that you search for uh, getting rid of our old phone, for example, over at commando.com. And stay right where you are. We have another jam-packed, fun-filled hour of the show you don't want to miss here on the West Star Multimedia Network. Hey, thanks for listening to Kim Commando today. So reach over and give me a nice five-star review. Yes, thank you. And thanks for listening.